According to a pastor in Florida, he believes that all atheists should be put on a registry, on a website uh, that keeps track of atheists for uh, their city, uh, state, and where the businesses that they uh, work in. For proselytizing and to boycott their businesses and everything. He compares atheists to the KKK, Islamic terrorism, uh, skinheads, you name it. Many of the people that society disdains and dislikes. Apparently we atheists are so evil that we must be put on a registry like sex offenders, criminals, molesters, you name it. Just because we don't believe like that. A friend of mine told me that they found it disgusting they couldn't even read past the second paragraph of the article linked below in the description box. I find it completely funny that people actually think that we should be put on a registry just because we do not believe just like them. That we do not believe in the same stories that they do. It's just funny to me. At the same time, it's annoying that people actually still want this to happen. And some people believe that this is just a public stunt and it's not to be taken really 100% seriously. Just for the past to become well known more. But hey, personally, I find it's annoyingly funny. The reason why I say annoyingly funny is because, well, it's annoying that people actually think that we should be put on a registry just because we're not just like them. We don't believe in fairy tales. But it's also funny to me just because people actually believe this shit. People are going to be proselytizing me whenever I walk around in a crowded neighborhood. If they know who I am, if they know the work I do, they're going to probably proselytize me. I'm not going to put them on a registry or anything. I'm going to have a conversation after them why they believe and why I don't believe. I don't want more and more people doing that just because this pastor says I should be put on a registry just like every other atheist around the country. And if it does come to that, if it's state mandatory, fine, I'll do it. If you want more information on this story, go to the link below in the description box. If you want to know more about the pastor and what he thinks, go to the link below. Ignorance is a bliss.